Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna learn about the different field types within your Smartsheet form. Let's dive in. All right, we have our sheet here. Let's go ahead and go to our forms. So I want a form to feed into this sheet. I'm just gonna click forms here and create a form. All right, and as you notice here on the sheet, the columns on that sheet are also appearing on this form right here. Primary column, column two, column three, so on and so forth. That's because each field that is on this form is the actually the column on the sheet. So we have primary column, column two, column three. All right, well, let's go ahead and change some of this up. Maybe we want column two to be your name. So. Maybe I want it to say you, on the form, I want the label to say your name. So maybe I'm an employee and I'm filling out this form. It's like, oh yeah, my name's John Doe. I'm gonna fill it out right here. But at the sheet level, the thing that this form feeds into, I don't want it to be your name. I want it to be called employee name. And if that confuses you, it'll make sense in just a few seconds here why we made these different. The field name is called your name on the form, but the column name is called employee name at the sheet level. You can also put in help text here. Help me, blah, 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 blah. You can even put in hyperlinks. So maybe you want to hyperlink this right here. You're going to highlight it. You're going to click the hyperlink. And then you can just drop in any URL in here that you'd like. Maybe you want it to be when they click on that, it will take them automatically to Google. All right. Maybe you want to add some new fields in here. You can go ahead and click here where it says new field. And these are all the different options you can choose. Let's go ahead and choose a drop down list. Let's give it a name. Are you? happy yes no click OK now we can drag and drop this wherever we'd like or if you double click it by default it will automatically put it at the bottom for you you also have headers here that you can put in drag and drop maybe we want to call this your information and you have dividers that you can put in as well you also have a file upload that you can drop, but just know that you can only do one file upload field per form. This is where you can drop in uh, PDFs, Excel, photos, you name it. And also, for your different column types, when you click on the field right here in edit mode, to the right you have these options here. For instance, I have a multi-select, so I can, instead of it being a drop-down, I can change it to be vertical radio buttons or horizontal radio buttons. You can also choose to have certain field types to be a required field. So right here where it says required, I toggle this on and off. Notice the red asterisk appears right here. That lets the person filling out the form know this is a required field. And when this is toggled on, if they try to click submit, as we'll see in our test, it will not allow them to submit it without putting in some information in this data. As you can see here, you can also decide if you want it to be numbers only, percent only, email, phone, or no validation. And last but not least, you can also choose to have one of the options be default. Maybe I want this field default to automatically say yes. All right, let's go and click save on the top right, and let's test out our form. Let's click open form. Hey guys, real quick, if you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that will be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are, I show you a brief description how to use them, and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide, it's one sheet, it's all yours, I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. Alright, let's get back to this video. Start filling it out. Maybe want to check out the hyperlink. Look at that, it took me straight to Google. 
I'll skip this stuff. Maybe I forget to fill out this information that says it's required. Look by default, it says it's hidden. Or are you happy? But I can go ahead and choose no or yes. And I can drop in a file. If I try to click submit, it will not allow me because it says this field is required. Let's put something in and click submit. All right. So again, your name is what appeared on the form that we just filled out. But if I go to the sheet by clicking on the top left option right here, and I click refresh, my data shows up right here. Employee name. All right, you guys, take care and God bless.